everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to go through a weighted exercise program. Um, it's got some body weight exercises in there as well, but we are going to get the weights out and get them involved too. So let me just show you what we're going to go through. Here we have our workout for today. Our warm up is going to consist of three different exercises and 10 reps of each and three rounds. So we have squat and press, lunge and bicep curl, and a deadlift and high pull. Then we're gonna come down to this section, Weighted exercises we're going to do for 45 seconds and then we're going straight into our non-weighted exercise for 30 seconds. So we have a kettlebell deadlift, we're going to do that for 45 seconds and then we're straight into mountain climbers down on the floor for 30 seconds. We'll have a quick rest in between each one and then we'll move on. So our next one is weighted lateral lunges for 45 seconds and then leg raises for 30 seconds. Weighted squats for 45 seconds, inchworms for 30 seconds, and then weighted glute bridges for 45 seconds, and a plank where we're gonna move our hands backwards and forwards for 30 seconds. Then we will rest for roughly two to five minutes. Um, two minutes if you are finding it, you know, a bit easy. Um, and then if you need any extra rest, you can go up to five minutes of rest as well. Then our next part is basically the same, however, we are going to be doing our weighted exercise for 35 seconds instead of 45, and our non-weighted exercise for 20 seconds instead of 30. So it is a little bit less, and I've also changed up the order that we will be doing it as well. So we're gonna do our lateral lunges and leg raises first, glute bridges and planks second, weighted squats and inchworms third, and then finishing off with the kettlebell deadlift and mountain climbers. Then we'll have another quick rest and then we're going to do a little bit of core at the end. We're going to go through three different types of crunches. First of all, we just have our regular crunch, which I will show you how these go um, when we get to them. Um, and then a star crunch and then a reverse crunch as well. So I'm just going to show you what equipment I'm going to have um, and then you can pull out whatever equipment you will need um, and then we'll get started. I'm going to be using these two pieces of equipment today in the workout. Um, I have a barbell here with one 5kg plate on each side and then I've got a 24kg kettlebell as well. So if you did hire out any of the equipment from the gym, um, from Female Federation, then that would be great. You can use that in today's workout. If you have dumbbells as well, um, or instead of any of these uh, pieces of equipment, then that's fine too. Either of those will work. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. All right, so starting first, we're gonna pick up the barbell. If you have dumbbells as well, you can use your dumbbells too. So what you're gonna do is, if you have the barbell, you're gonna hold it at your shoulders like this. If you have dumbbells, you're also just gonna hold them at the side of your shoulders as well. We'll bring the feet out a little bit wider than our shoulders. We're going to take a big squat down and push up above the head. Bring it back down to the shoulders, squat and press. We're gonna do 10 reps of this one. So let's do another six. Squat low and press up. That's one, two, three, four, five, one more, and six. Awesome. Okay, next one. You can also use a barbell or dumbbells. You're gonna hold underhand grip and we're going to lunge and curl at the same time. Back up and straighten the arms. Lunge and curl, back up. Alternating legs as well with the lunges. Making sure we're working both sides. Okay, we have another five. One, two, three, four, and five, cool. Okay, so for our third exercise, I'm gonna be using the, dip, the barbell again. I'll show you side on. We come down into a deadlift. So you're gonna have your back straight, your knees are slightly bent. The bar just comes to your mid shin. We stand up and pull the bar like this above the chest with your elbows up, higher than the bar. Then we come back down. Deep lift again, and up. And we wanna make it a nice, flowy movement, just like this. Okay, let's do another five. One, two, three, 
four, and again, and five. Perfect. Okay, so that is one round. Now, overhand grip again. Barbell to the shoulders, feet out wide. Squat and press. Bring it back down, squat nice and low. Bring out as you push up. I'll show you side on. Squat, press. Good, that's four. One more. Okay, bring it down. Underhand grip for a bicep curl. And we lunge and curl up at the same time. And then you straighten up. go. One more. And rest. Lovely. Okay. Next one. The last one for round two is our deadlift into a high pull. I'm going to show you side on this time. We come down and up. Deadlift, high pull for 10 reps. That's four. Five, six, seven, three, go. Eight, nine, and that's ten. Bring it down. Well done. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink. You may do the same. Okay, we just have one more round for our warm up. And then we're going to move on. All right. Picking up either your barbell or dumbbells. Squat first. And press. Squat. Press for 10. Three. Remember to breathe. Four. Pushing up nice and high. And squat down low. Four to go. Two. One to go. And bring it down. Well done. Okay. Underhand grip. Biceps. And lunge. And straighten. Bring it up. And straighten. Three. Four. Five. Halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, one to go. Lovely. Okay, last part for the warm up deep lift and high pull. Ten reps. Remember to keep your back straight and a little bit of a bend in the knee so it's not a full squat. We're hinging at the hips. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two to go. Well done. And there we go. Woo! Okay, warm up done. So, for the first part of the bulk of the workout, you will need a kettlebell and a bit of space on the floor. All right, so I've got my kettlebell here. I'm gonna use my timer, set it for 45 seconds. We're gonna do as many kettlebell deadlifts as we can. So a kettlebell deadlift is basically the same exercise we just did in the last part of the warm up, the deadlift, not the high pull, just the deadlift part. But we're using a kettlebell instead. So we're gonna go 45 seconds of this one, doing as many reps as we can. Bring the kettlebell out the way, straight down into the ground for 30 seconds of mountain climbers. All right, three, two, one, and timer's on. 
So yes, we are trying to do as many reps as we can. However, we don't want to rush so much that we drop our technique and do it wrong. Okay, so make sure that we stay nice and strong. Just a little bend in the knee, but we are hinging more here at the hips, up and down this way. All right, keep going. Time. Okay, we have 15 seconds to go. Keep moving. Squeeze through the glutes as you come to the top. Five, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, bring this one out the way. 30 seconds and let's go. So we're full plank. We go to knuckles and we're running on the spot. Staying on the toes, make sure your shoulders are on top of your wrists, not back here. Okay. Keep going. Time. 10 seconds. Keep moving. And breathing. Three, two, one. Nice work. <clears throat> okay, I'm bringing out my bar. Bar goes to the back. If you're using a kettlebell or dumbbells, feel free to hold them in the front. All right, this is gonna be fun to try and time this. All right, and hopefully you can see me. We step out to the side, bend one leg and straighten the other. Oh, this is gonna be hard to do on camera. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. One side. Other side. Usually I would take a step in and go out this way, but I have a feeling you're not going to be able to see me. So we go one side, other side. Make sure your feet are facing forward the whole time. You push your hips back, bend one leg, straighten the other. Keep going. We have five, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Okay, put your weights down. Straight into leg raises. So we're going to lie on the ground. Legs are either straight or you're going to bend in and out like this. All right, let's go. As many as you can. Make sure you're doing deep breaths. Keeping your core nice and tight. We're lifting from the core, not just lifting your legs up and down. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, and rest. Awesome. Okay, next one, weighted squats. So again, I'm gonna pick up my barbell. You can use either a kettlebell, dumbbells. If you're using either of those two, you would hold them in the front. Barbell on the back. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna come into a deep squat and stand. Squat and stand, away we go. Nice work as many as you can. Keep your back straight. Try not to come forward like this. Okay, you want your chest up, bum low, as many as you can. Keep the core on tight. Lovely. We have 20 seconds left. Nice. 10, keep going. Three, two, and one. All right, weight goes down. Inchworm. So, in inchworm, we come down to the ground. Try not to bend your knees too much. You walk out into a full plank. Legs as straight as you can get them. You stand back up. We'll go front on, down. Walk out, full plank, 
stand back up. And we go again. All right, 30 seconds, let's go. Bring it out, hello. And back in, all right, I'm definitely going side on. Nice, keep going. We are halfway, full plank, and up. Let's just go one more each, and back up. Nicely done. Okay, weight of glute bridges. So again, you can use any weight, kettlebell, barbell, dumbbell. I'm gonna use my barbell. We're gonna lie on the ground. Okay, so we're lying on the ground. Feet are on the ground and knees are bent. You're gonna have your weight across your lower stomach. You're going to hold on to it, push through the heels, and lift your hips up. Make sure you're holding your weight. You don't want it to roll down. Bring the hips down and up. When you come to the top, we squeeze through the glutes and relax back down to the ground. Okay, let's go. 45 seconds. Just doing what you can. Make sure you keep your heels down. You don't want to push through your toes. Okay, that's just going to use your calf muscles too much. Where we want to be using our strong muscles through the top of our leg. Keep going. We're at 25 seconds. Just doing what you can. 15 seconds to go. Just a few more. Getting as high as you can. Make sure you squeeze the glutes at the top. Five, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay. Woo. All right. Plank and moving hands in and out. So I'm going to show you this position here. I know you can't see my feet, but that's not important right now. You only need to be able to see my hands. Okay, so timer starts now, full plank, move hands forward, hands back, hands forward, hands back. Again, I'm just going to go onto my knuckles, I have a funny wrist. Alright, keep the hips still as you can, core arm tight, five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Well done. That's it. That is part one done. Now we're going to have our rest break. So either two to five minutes, anywhere in between. Just try not to make it more than five. <coughs> and then we're going to go through it again. I'll see you in just a second. All right, so my rest break is over. I took about two and a half minutes. Now we're going to go into the second part of the workout, which is the same set of exercises. It's just a lower time, so a shorter time, and just different order as well. So first of all, we have uh, weighted uh, lateral lunges. So I've got my barbell right here. We're going to do 35 seconds now of the weighted exercise, and then 20 seconds of the body weight exercise. Okay, so picking up your weight of choice, whether that is dumbbells, or barbell. Um, you can also use a kettlebell, you just hold that in the front as well. Okay, so 35 seconds, three, two, one, and away we go. We bend one leg, straighten the other, stand up, and then we come to the other side. Stand up, and other side. Pushing the hips back. This time your chest does come forward a little bit. Okay, but that's just the way it's gonna happen. Just making sure you get as low as you can. Keep going. Nice. All right, we're gonna do another 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, bring the weight down. Leg raises, it's just 20 seconds. So still doing as many as you can. For 20 seconds, and time is on. Let's go. Straight legs, or bend at the knee. Tuck in, extend out. In and out, the 
as long as we're using that lower core, we just have five seconds to go. Three, two, and rest. Perfect, well done, that's first one down. Now we're going into the glute bridges again. Picking your weight, pop it on your lower stomach. Okay, so it should be relatively comfortable just sitting there. Feet on the ground, knees are bent, hold on to your weight. Let me put my timer on and let's go. Hips up, squeeze through the glutes, bring it back down. You just want to tap the ground for about half a second and bring it back up. Push through the heels. We're at 15 seconds. Keep going. Squeeze the glutes and breathe. 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. All right, plank and move in your hands. Just 20 seconds and time is on. Bring hands forward and back. Keeping the hips still. Core on nice and tight. Keep going. Five, three, two, and rest. Very good. All right, number three, squat. I'm using my barbell. All right, squat, 35 seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Make sure we squat low. Keep the straight back, knees out, heels down. Okay, we're at 15 seconds. Keep it going. 20. Nice. Almost there. Five, three, two, one. All right, bar comes down. Inchworms, 20 seconds. And let's go, down to the ground, walk it out, back in, stand up straight. Try and keep the legs as straight as you can get them. A slight bend the spine. And stopping there. Perfect, all right. Last one, this is coming around fast. Deadlift with your kettlebell. <clears throat> Alright, so 35 seconds, mountain climbers, and that will finish it for this part of the workout. Alright, three, two, and away we go. Bring it up, slight bend in the knee, my back is straight, up and squeeze through the glutes. Keeping the arms straight the whole time. Good. Keep going. Check my timer. Okay, we're at 20 seconds. Keep moving. Almost there. Five, three, two, and one. Very nice. Bring the weights out of the way. All right, mountain climbers. Just 20 seconds. We want to move nice and fast for the last part. Three, two, and let's go. Run, 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 run. Keep going. Keep going. Shoulders should be above the wrists. We're halfway. Staying on the toes. Five, four, three, Two and rest. Woo! Well done. Good work. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink. Then we're moving on to our core part of the workout, which means the end. So crunches.
star crunches and reverse crunches. I'm going to show you, we'll demonstrate three, those three, and then we'll go through them together as well. So a regular crunch, you're going to lie on your back with your feet in the air, like this. 90 degree bend in the knee, hands at the side of your head, making sure that your elbows are sticking out. If we bring the elbows in like this, you're more likely to just pull your head up and down, which is not correct. So we keep the elbows out, make sure we're lifting up here at the core and down. Bring it up, try not to have too much tension in the neck. Okay, we do, we do what we can to relax in the neck and make sure we're just using this part of your stomach. All right, then star crunch. This is gonna be very fun to try and demonstrate. We lie like this. <clears throat> if you do any PT with me, you'll more, most likely have done this before because I get most people to do this one. But we take opposite hand to toe and back down. Lift up, see how my shoulder blade is up off the ground? Back down. We just keep switching like this. Okay, and then reverse crunch is, it's quite a fun one. I find it fun anyway. I've had some people say the very opposite. All right, <clears throat> so we lie down again, hands are out on the ground. You're going to use a little bit of your arm to push yourself up, mainly using through the core to lift up and control back down. And I'm extending my legs out this way. I know you can't see it, but I promise I am. Okay, and so then we bring up, control down, and out as low as you can get them. If you can't get your legs super low to the ground, it doesn't matter, just do what you can. So those are the three exercises. We're gonna go through 10 of each, eight and six of each. So that's it, just three rounds, 10, eight and six, and then we'll finish there. Okay, so regular crunches first, lying on the ground, feet are up off the ground, hands are at the side of your head, 10 reps, bring it up, breathe on every rep, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, then we spread out like a star, opposite hand to toe, and back down, up, down, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome, and then reverse crunch, hands out to the side, we lift up and down. Two, three, four, Five. Five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Whew. Those are hard. Okay. All right. Now, every time I lie down, I'm staring up into the lights. And then when I go to sit up, I can't even see anything. Alright, crunches again, just eight reps. Where we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Out like a star. Opposite hand to toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lovely, and reverse crunch. If you're finding this one just a little bit too hard, feel free to do bicycle crunches, which is where you have your hands together behind your head, and you're gonna bring your elbow to your knee and switch, just like this. So you would do those instead of reverse crunches. Okay, but for now, reverse crunch, eight reps. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! That is definitely the hardest. All right, last part. Six.
six of each and then we're done. First one, crunch, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Out like a star. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome, reverse crunch or bicycle crunches. And away we go. One, two, three. I feel like I'm shimmying out of the shot. Four, five, and six. Woo! Oh my goodness. Well done, everyone. Very good. Good work everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are also offering online personal training sessions for 30 minutes. Um, 30 minute sessions for $20 each via FaceTime or Zoom and they will be with me. Um, so if you want something to do or you just need a little bit of more motivation, um, definitely get in contact with us. My uh, mobile number is on the Facebook page, there's a post. Um, and then also the Instagram page, there's a post as well. So yeah, if you're interested in that, then definitely contact me and we can book in a time as well. And yeah, other than that, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.